I do want to Staten say, Island. You know, part of that is also because we don't. Iguana have... Island's name out of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great fucking community. A large, part of the problem, <laughs> a large part of the problem is that you don't have, is, you know, local news is dying, and it has been dying a very gradual, uh, maybe not so gradual, but it, it's definitely, uh, you know, been in this pattern for a long time, and that's part of the reason that we don't really have a good pulse on what's going on in communities everywhere, and it really, you know, it's it's a problem. It's something that I think we feel very intimately when you look at the way the campaigns are covered and, and the way the events are set up, you know? Like, I was not representative of the country, but every single media organization spends a ton of money to have everybody flock there from, you know, to the, from their companies to make sure they're there to cover that event instead of going elsewhere. Right. Absolutely. So, Alona, you're gonna stay with us while we do the shout out. And you're gonna need to. We we have missed you. Please come back in more. I Woo! Let me just say, does anybody here remember when last year Michael uh, asked me if I would co-host his podcast? Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. I do. Yeah, I remember. And then you had me on one time. <laughs> Scheduling conflicts six times. Oh. I got the receipts. I got the tax guy. <laughs> well, come back as a full-time co-host and do 2020. Come back. Oh, yes. Woo! Yes. We love it, Lana. Oh, seriously, it's, I absolutely remember it. And we missed you, and we can't wait to have you back. Well, I missed you guys too. And hang out with us while we do the shout out. Okay. Are we ready for our shout out song? Yeah. My brain is still in recovery mode. Shout out, shout out. My brain is still in recovery mode. Shout out, shout out. Shout out. For taking in so many high level important ideas. Shout out, shout out. For taking in so many high level important ideas. I like talking about ideas. I like talking about ideas. The exchange of ideas. Shout out, shout out. Still in recovery and recovery mode. Looking forward to that. Sharing more ideas. Oh man, that guy's breathtakingly stupid. And I love the way, like, there's like everybody who knows who he is and thinks it's the funniest thing in the world, and everybody else is like, who is this, like, <laughs> dimwit that you remixed into a song? Why are you laughing? That's so mean. I just had to ask who it was. <laughs> and I don't, I don't want to pollute your mind with this stuff. I, I have such unbelievable envy for people who don't know who they've proven. Woo! Uh, but I've processed it something that works on my terms. <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna play it, but earlier today, Bernie Sanders, or yesterday, he said, they said, how could you call yourself a winner in yeah. Iowa? And he said, and this is, I've noticed, I, I'll just make a, I don't make many generational comments. I feel like people over 60, when they say where I'm from, that means something different than it does for us. Like, I don't, like, I've never said, well, I'll tell you what, where I'm from, you know, but, if you're over 60, that means something. He said, where well, I'm from, if you win 6,000 more votes, you win. <laughs> That's the shout out. We're gonna win New Hampshire. <laughs> we won Iowa. <laughs> We're gonna be humiliating these fucking people so much that we cannot possibly steal it from them. In the song. Yeah. Woo! Alona, you're the absolute best. Will you please come back soon? Of course. And you will be back. You will be back to the end of the show as well. Alona Minkowski, everybody. Thank you. doing squats. <laughs> it's, it's, it, sometimes when uh when this next get you guys ever see the 50 cent video where he's training and Dre is looking at his vitals? <laughs> this guy is bringing that ethos to left wing podcasting. Pretty bad lefty Brandon Sutton is here. Brandon Sutton, everybody.
everybody. Thanks for being here. It's a pleasure. So, we're going to be on a slightly similar theme. I think there's nobody better in media who talks about the myth of meritocracy than you. And I think, as Trump would say, sadly, we are experiencing that myth very intensely right now. Why is it that people who think that because they test well, they're fit for purpose for running the world? I don't know. Well, I mean, <laughs> frankly, I test the great. I, I know you did, and I'm not, and actually, I'll clarify, I'm not dissing that. I'm just saying that is not, like, look at Pete Buttigieg. I mean, he's accomplished nothing in his life. Except for if you, unless you consider knowing how to get into certain institutions a life-defining accomplishment. And I don't. It doesn't mean I don't, like, that's great. Go for it. I mean, he is just like a walking resume. You know, like, he, he has gone through life with the sole purpose of becoming president. And no one who has gone through life with the sole purpose of becoming president should be the president of the United States. Where does that mindset come from, though? Like, how have we nurtured it in this phase of capitalism? Well, I mean, in this phase, it's just, it's just a way to justify everyone's failures, right? You know, at this point, look at where we are in society. Look how many people are failing under the current, you know, system. And how do you justify it? How do you turn the fact that we have, what, one-third of children living in housing or hunger insecurity? How do you, you know, turn the fact that we have record numbers of like, job insecurity uh, into a personal problem from a ethical problem because just from sheer numbers like okay well look how many people need to be suffering before this society is unhealthy is unable to you know perpetuate itself in a way that you know is efficient really and you know the way you do that is you turn it into a personal problem you say hey, you know what you majored in the wrong thing you know you didn't take you didn't take the right classes don't worry about the entire global economy no, no. english was a bad call english was not a bad call uh, especially since we're going to be ruled by the Chinese soon. Woo! <laughs> so, I mean, I'm looking at it, you know, you can say a lot of stuff about uh, where we are as a country, you know, the shape of democracy, as they say. <laughs> but you cannot deny that we are not as bad as we, you know, we could be. Right, we're not that we could be in the sense that we're like there's a movement starting now that is going to get people that, where people are actually waking up to the fact of, that these are false problems. These are not things like you know you're not your failures are not your fault, and I think that's a powerful message. Woo! I was going to say some of them are. You know, and that said, clean your room. You know, you know, but like that, like. That's why that message has so much power in our society. It's just like, yeah, you know, you're, you know, you're poor, you know, you're alienated socially, materially, you hate your job, you hate your family, you have no friends, you spend all your time online. You know what? You're, the power to change that is all within you. But that's like, you know, you should definitely clean your room. I should clean my room. Uh, but, you know, that's not, that's not extract, that, you can't extrapolate that up to the higher, with the highest level of political society. That, you know, that is just inherently a mechanism for keeping people looking internally for solutions that are social. What was your own process for starting to think that way and see things that way? Honestly, so this is gonna sound weird, what woke me up politically, and I was just telling Matt backstage, not other, not old Matt, new Matt backstage. <laughs> Tall Matt. <laughs> Tall Matt backstage. Oh, no. Even for me. It's not, it's, that's not offensive. That's not a slur. <laughs> have, oh, Did, but he asked for his stool to be in the show. He's short. That's okay. But he asked, okay. For, it's okay, but he asked for his stool. I, I, you know, I mean, everyone should Brandon, get a stool. Can I just say that Trump's mini mic material is... That's good. We are back, like, watching him as a performer rediscover some of that same energy that yeah. actually propelled his career like the it's Martin honestly, Rubio, if Bernie wasn't Juan, 
If Brady wasn't running, you might want to volunteer for Bloomberg just to make him. Oh yeah, I want, I want to prolong Trump humiliating you. I am not <laughs> volunteering for Bloomberg for anything. He has enough pay, pay, pay. He's paying micro influencers a hundred and fifty dollars for tweet. It's like, that's worse than Yang. <laughs> that's, like, that's like a shitty version of Yang's policy. That's what Bloomberg kind of did, I feel like, is he, he was sitting there and someone was like, wait a second, there's a you know right-wing, corporatist, billionaire-funded mayor who runs a college town that has racism and police problems. He's polling well. And there's some like, you know, tech entrepreneur automization guy, and Mike was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> See if we can play a game though. If you had to guess which Beltway documentary uh, <laughs> radicalized Brad a documentary docudrama with a dramatization of an event. <laughs> so which docudrama radicalized Brandon? I, I regret of you know being offensive to the mat in the back. I should have gone with this one. <laughs> I should have like the mat with the like James Franco in character mustache. <laughs> Wait a second, it's not even a proper uh, documentary, it's a documentary. Based on a book. Oh. A non-fiction Beltway media book. Oh, he was, he was, oh. Harry Potter. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no, okay, I don't remember the name of this book, but it is the HBO dramatization <laughs> of 1998's no. John Heinelman and whatever the fuck his face is. You mean 2008? But it's a it's 2008. It's about the presidential election and Julianne Moore is playing Sarah Palin. Yes, I nailed it. Game change. Game change. That movie blew Wait, my mind. Game change the Gramsci. That's a journey. <laughs> that movie blew my mind. 